If you're looking for the ultimate personalized guitar experience, you're in luck because Bias Amp 2 is now available for mobile devices. The same features and enhancements that are in the desktop version are now available for iPhone and iPad. Even better, it's now a freemium app, which means that you, for free, get access to a large amount of the Bias Amp 2 experience. And if you decide that you want to unlock more features, including our brand new custom speaker cabinets that we made with Celestion, you can do that via in-app purchase. So once you connect your audio interface and you boot the software, between the presets that are included at default in the app and the connection to the Tone Cloud, you have access to thousands of custom amps. You can either download them and use them as is, or use them as a springboard for your own sonic exploration. The groundbreaking component emulation inside of Bias Amp 2 is so easy to use, you can swap out circuit components without having to know anything about how amps work or having to dive through menus. Just touch things and keep going until it sounds the way you want it to. You can swap out preamp and power amp tubes, transformers, tone stacks, and even speakers and microphones in search of your ideal tone. There's nothing else like it, and there's nothing else that sounds like Bias Amp 2. So you might be wondering why this whole time when talking about mobile devices, I've been standing next to a 412 cabinet with a mic on it and a guitar head. Uh, it's because Bias Amp 2 is the technological backbone for our hardware line of amplifiers. So now when you connect Bias Head or Bias Rack or Bias Mini to the software via Bluetooth, it unlocks the full version. So now hardware owners don't have to pay anything to be able to control their amp from their mobile device. So let me show you how that works. All right, so we've switched over to the iPad view so you can see uh, what we're going to be looking at in high detail. You can see as well that I have 1,029 unanswered emails on my iPad. You should see my phone. It's, uh, it's darn near 8,000. It is what it is. So if we click the uh, bias amp icon, the software comes up. And the first thing we need to do is connect the hardware and the software together. So we do that by clicking on the little gear icon here and then saying connect hardware and uh, we wait for it to do that. All right, so now the hardware and the software are connected together, and you can see that uh, down at the bottom uh, screen there, I've got the bias head that shows a picture that it's connected, and if I click on it, it says what my firmware uh, version is and that kind of stuff, so it's kind of a neat little graphic, just to show you that it is connected. And if you click on the thing where it says Sean Church 1, because I'm gonna take you to church, uh, you can see that these are the patches that are on my bias head. Uh, all over the place, and uh, there are also a bunch that are included in a bunch of these different genres, glassy and blues and crunch and high gain and these things, uh, and you can uh, sort of select those and load those into the head as well. Now, the, the main thing that's important to realize about the way this works is that it is instantaneous. There's not a thing where you're pushing something to the amp and you wait for it to update or whatever. It's bi-directional, two-way, works that way all the time, so you don't have to wait uh, to hear the results of anything, you just do it and you hear it. It's just like tweaking a piece of hardware. And uh, this is what it sounds like. Lovely. Now, I can start tweaking that if I want by going into the circuit and start playing around. So, like I said, everything happens in real time, and you don't have to know anything about this stuff. You just keep poking things until it sounds good. So I can change tubes as easily as just pushing on them. BH7. Lovely. Let's make a higher gain tube over here, too. starts to affect the sustain, which is cool. Now if I want, I'm going to turn this down a little bit, because now that I've added those tubes, it's going to get kind of loud. So I'm going to turn this down a little bit so the neighbors don't get annoyed at me. Now on the front panel, there's actually a knob for this tube stage, and you can see how immediate the interaction between the two is. So I can make that change either from the software or from the hardware, it doesn't matter. So you're not, you're not having to wait for anything. So that's two tube stages. There's three, or here's four. Pretty cool. So we can go to the power amp now. Actually, let's go to the tone stack. And you can see that I've got the acoustic equalizer set 
But you have all of these different tone stacks. A tone stack is basically the EQ circuit in the amp, and uh, all of them are different. They all sound completely different. So if I go to the Match 30, which is quite nice, you get this. So let's go to the power amp and start playing around these tubes. We can get a little bit crunchier with an EL34. Here we go. And remember that the power amp has a lot to do with how distorted something is. So if I turn the distortion up a little bit and I turn the master volume up a little bit, that's the master volume for the amp not the master volume for the actual onboard power amp. Very, very cool. So you can see that the interaction between the two is instantaneous, you don't have to wait. So if I wanna go back and say, you know, this cleany thing that you started out with, taking me to church is all cool, but maybe if you went to your custom amp, you could pull up something that was a bit crunchier. And so I will. Get this. Hopefully that gives you an idea of just how awesome and easy Bias Head is to use when you connect it to the app over Bluetooth. Uh, it allows you to create custom tones that simply don't exist anywhere else, and you can create things that work great for your guitars and your hands and your strings and your pickups and everything. It's fantastic. For more information on the app itself, head on up to the App Store. And for more information on the hardware amps, head on up to positivegrid.com. And you'll probably want to hit the dealer locator after that and find a dealer near you with one in stock so you can go play one. And now you can download the app for free, take it into the store, and control the app while you're testing the amp out. So it's pretty cool. Thanks very much for your time. I will see you again. Cheers.